All right, Matt, it is time for our co-main event of the evening, Bellator 238. We have the former Bantamweight champion, Darian Caldwell, taking on Adam Boric in the Featherweight World Grand Prix quarterfinals. Matt, we will start the two-minute clock here. This is one of the more fun fights okay. of the night because Darian Caldwell is a boring fighter. And Adam Boric is not. Exactly. Matt, everybody's an Adam Boric fan. I, I mean, Hungary is on the map now for MMA. Why is Adam Boric one of the more fun fighters to watch? And can you tell us a bit about his base? Because he's hungry for a title right now. And Darian Caldwell's kind of the perfect guy for him to fight in this aspect. We're going to figure out how good Adam Boric is as a grappler in this fight. Because all Darian Caldwell does is shoot double leg takedowns. And as much as we can say is, oh, it's boring and it's not very fun to watch, it's extremely effective. I, if you look at his record, look at his style, he's very good at just holding people down. But the problem is he doesn't really move position. He doesn't go for submissions. doesn't really go for the knockout. He's very happy with just sort of the control. And Adam Borch, we saw it in the Aaron Pico fight. He's really good at getting back up to his feet and getting able to compromise positions on the ground. The only problem was, though, is that Aaron Pico will kind of play that striking game with you to a certain degree and allow him the chance to get clipped. Darren Darren Caldwell, Caldwell doesn't. Darren Caldwell, oh if, like, if you're playing him in UFC 3, he just keeps on spamming takedowns, and that's it. You might stuff them, you might not, but that's all he's going to do the whole time. Okay, I'm going to bring up the odds. The other thing I want to say, Adam Borch, a wizard at Muay Thai and a wizard at Jiu-Jitsu, Darren Caldwell has that one thing. That he one was is. an NCAA champion in 2009 with NC State. Great wrestling pedigree, but that's pretty much all you're going to see. He's like a, an even more one-dimensional Lance Palmer, he's like if Corey I can Anderson. say that. Like Corey Anderson, but now all of a sudden Corey Anderson's knocking out people, so you can't say that. Down. Matt, the odds have Darren Caldwell a minus 125 favorite. Borch coming in plus 105. Over on Tapology at a 303 vote, 73% going with the underdog of Borich. And of that, 67% predicting a knockout. I want to say to those people, Darren Caldwell's never been knocked out. He lost to Time Anglo, and then he lost two straight to Horiguchi. One by submission, one by decision. Never been knocked out. Interesting stat there. I'm going to make my pick, and then I'll let you. I'm actually going to go with the explosive young man, Adam Boric. I think he's going to be able to get it done with those two bases. If Caldwell takes you down and has you on your back all the time, there's spots where Adam Boric can shine. We've seen that before where he's been on his back and gotten out of compromising positions. And if it is on the feet whatsoever, if Caldwell goes in and shoots a traditional single leg or a double leg, Borch is going to light him up. We saw that in the Pico fight, and that's not to say that Pico's a better wrestler than Caldwell. You can say whatever you want, freestyle, non-NCAA, NCAA, whatever. But I'm going to take Borch in this fight. Who are you going with? I wish I could agree with everything Craig just said, because every <laughs> ounce of my bite being wants Adam Borch to win. I really want to go out there, throw two jabs, throw a head kick, and knock out Darren Caldwell. It's not going to happen, though. Caldwell needs three takedowns in 15 minutes. That's all he needs. It's very much similar to the Curtis Miller fight. All he has to do is take down Borch once and keep on going from full guard to mount to side control and keep on doing that over and over again. Do just enough to not get stood up and then keep on going for takedowns. 2020's Jake Shields. If Boric can defend the first takedown, that's going to tell you everything you need to know about this fight. If he can stuff the first takedown, or if he gets taken down and pops right back up to his feet in like 20 seconds, this is going to be a really good fight for Boric. But all Caldwell has to do is take him down and hold him down. And I feel like that's a much easier strategy to win off than going out there and trying to land a head kick or flying knee or whatnot. So as much as it pains me to say this, I think Darren Caldwell is going to win a terrible decision. Matt, we are really looking forward yeah. to it. We went over our two-minute limit here, but we are really looking forward to Bellator 238, our main card and prelim predictions here on YouTube for Fight Night Picks. Let's get into it.